In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an explainer video animation whiteboard style inside Canva. Yes, inside Canva. Actually, Canva is really good for making explainer videos, this style of simple animations that are very easy to understand for your viewers. Now, I'm going to be using the whiteboard explainer template from BlueFX. You can get that at the link that is in the description of this video. You can follow along and we're going to create a story just like this one. Take a look. Hello, this is Joe. Joe runs his own business selling local goods. But Joe has a big problem. He's got too much to do and he can't find qualified help. Everywhere Joe has looked, he's only found unqualified employees. So this is the story that we're gonna build together. Canva is 100% free and we're going to use the free version here. If you, if you go to the home screen, you're probably gonna log into Canva, you create an account there, and then you're gonna find a couple of things that you can start with. So try out the video setup, create a blank video canvas. In the whiteboard explainer, let me show you quickly, in the whiteboard explainer template package, you're gonna find different folders. The one that we're gonna focus on is the one called Universal. Open this one up. Now, I'm gonna just quickly add the Joe story animations, but you'll find here GIF animations, hand animation, images, and everything for your stories, over 400 uh, sketches, unique sketches that you can work with. So let's start with the Joe story animation. I'm gonna select all of the elements right here, and we're gonna just add them to Canva. So all you got to do in Canva is just drag and drop them right here into Canva. So when you first drag in an audio layer like this here, you'll notice that actually it only dragged in one second of audio. So why is that? Don't worry about it. Let me show you how to fix it. So first you got them first to just be able to see the audio track. You want to be able to uh, make the duration of the first slide a little longer. And now you can see, okay, we have here our audio and then hold down, uh, drag with your mouse and just drag your audio to the beginning of your track. You want to start at the beginning of the slide. It, it's kind of like in PowerPoint, you will be able to add different slides and each slide is kind of a scene. Once you're going to add more, the audio track, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Once you add more slide, more sli scenes, you can add them easily. You'll see that the audio track actually reveals itself. I know it's a little bit awkward, but it's, it's very well thought out actually. So now we're going to add also our audio, the music track and the same thing goes for that. Now it added the music track and you just hold down the music track and drag it to the beginning of your timeline. Now the first step is actually to add the text because the vo voiceover says hello. This voiceover says hello. So we want to add a nice hello here. Now to add your first text, of course, you can you could you could use any of these designs, but what we want right now is a, a font called Comic Relief. You just type in Comic Relief here and hit return and it's going to give you this font. Okay, let's make the font a little bigger. You see how easy this is to control. I'm just dragging the edges of this. Okay, you can position it at the middle and let's double click and change the text. Now, let me show you something. What you can do here is you can actually make the scenes short, the, this scene very short. And then it will transition. First, I just want the hello to appear quickly and then transition away from this. But I can I can also add some animation to the hello text, to the text. So for that, just click on the hello text and then we have something called animate. Here at the top, click on animate. Now it's really easy to preview how these animations would look because all you gotta do is just hover your mouse, mouse over the effect and it will show you. Now let me show you something that is actually really cool but can't really be seen. Just click here so you see this breed. Okay, the breadth type of animation. Now, 
if you select it it's gonna add the animation here on our text now the next part is that we want to add our characters so let's add our character called Joe good let's put him to the right side to the left side and you see how easy everything is to edit in in Canva superb you can add him him here and now I want the this is Joe text so let's add another text here comic relief of course this is Joe I hit return and I want to make the Joe text bigger and I want this to uh, I'm gonna make everything first bigger like this but what if you want to make just the Joe text bigger no problem you can click on it and here you can just increase the size of the text okay that looks about good and I also want to change the color so with the Joe text selected click on color and here you can choose a color I'm going to choose this default red let's see how this looks it looks good now there's still quite a lot of distance between these two phrases so I'm going to click on this thing here and change the line spacing so I want the Joe character to come in from the left and I want the this is Joe text to come in from the right so just select Joe the character click on animate and here we have a couple of basic and simple and nice animations this pen is gonna be perfect so I'm gonna click on the pen effect now we're gonna do exactly the same thing also for this is Joe the text click on animate and we're gonna find this nice pen is gonna be good but I need to change the direction to come from the other side now let's preview the animation that we created Hello, this is Joe. Joe. Boom, we got it. Let's add this one. And you see, I just drag and drop the characters like this. This is so easy. Now, let's add another text. Again, comic relief. Joe runs his own business. Let's make this text a bit, an effect called tumble. Let's make this tumble in. Let's use the Joe runs his own business text let's this ascend effect is also really cool now let's preview this joe runs his own business hello this is joe joe runs his own business hello this good we gotta extend this part hello this, this is joe joe runs his own business selling local goods hello so basically we want to have one phrase one slide can actually add some transitions between the slides so for example uh, all you got to do is you have these plus signs so you click on the plus sign click on the add transition button now for the whiteboard explainer style the best transition is called the slide you want this to slide to the side and you can change the direction where this is going to slide to I like this up slide it looks really professional now let's preview this hello this is Joe have you seen it's so easy it's so fast and it looks elegant now when you use the whiteboard explainer you can also add GIF animations so you have a folder called GIF animations and if you open that up these are actually animated GIFs so let's let me show you how you can use let's say this one and this one and this one I'm gonna drag these three inside my canva comp and you can see that these are actually moving i think this is really cool we can add them into our inter scenes and this is this is really awesome let's say this is joe maybe this is joe let's change this we can add this as joe this is super joe so canva gives you a lot of possibilities and when you mix it with the bluefx whiteboard explainer then you have even more possibilities now once you have created your animation once you have prepared everything you can click here at the top and you can preview everything Hello, this is Joe. like it would be a video you can use canva for free you can export the video you can use it you can create so easily a video in it and i'm i'm really amazed by it so the next step is to actually share this as a video so i'm gonna share this and you can share it with uh anyone and you can actually download this also so mp4 format is going to be good all 
20 pages because in this case we have 20 pages and now we're going to just go ahead and download this so this will take a while until it downloads and after that we're going to have a video done we can take this video upload it to youtube facebook and wherever you want to upload it that simple now if you have enjoyed this video please push the like button push the subscribe button so you're always updated and you always know when we release a new video template now if you don't have the whiteboard explainer yet and you do like the animations and you do like these fun little characters all you got to do is click on the link in the description of this video you'll be able to get the template and you'll be able to use it in for making so many cool awesome whiteboard explainer videos so thanks for watching and if you want to check out how to make explainer videos in different apps like premiere pro or davinci resolve check out the links in the description